Welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to cover exception handling. Exception, exception handling is a set of options that enable you to determine what happens if a schedule runs too long or if a schedule is blank. Okay, so if you go to the exception handling section of your schedule properties or your schedule wizard, you have a set of options here. So the first option is treat an error if not completed in X amount of minutes. CRD has the ability to determine how long it should take for your schedule to run. If it takes longer than that amount of time, this is chosen by this auto calculate option here, then we'll automatically treat it as an error. Now if for whatever reason you require, you would actually like to specify the amount of time before we'll treat it as an error by unchecking this box you can just then put in the specified amount of time that you'd rather have it. This is pretty helpful if it's the case where you know your database is slow um, or you know that certain times it just can take a very very long time for the report to run. So by specifying this amount of time it makes things a bit easier. The next thing you can do is that if the schedule errors at all, either it being that it's taken too long or that uh, uh, there's been some sort of error, or database connection, or what have you, well, you can actually decide the interval and the number of times that a schedule re retry itself until it gives up. So you can have a schedule try up to every 30 minutes, up to three times, or how many ever times that you would like. The next is CRD has the ability to determine whether the report is blank or not. Essentially, we can query the data behind the report and based on that decide whether it's blank. By checking this box here, you then have the option to do a couple of different things. First is the method. CRD has a native way of checking to see if a report is blank. Or, if you were to select SQL Query, you can build your own SQL query to determine whether the schedule is blank or not. And based on that query, CRD will determine that it's blank. Another option is you could ignore the report. So we'll run the report, but if it's blank, then we will not send the report at all. We'll simply ignore it. So what do you do if you say ignore the report but you want someone to be notified. If you click on the Actions tab, you can actually perform any number of custom tasks in the after it determines that a report is blank. For example, if you want to notify someone that this report is blank, just go down to Send Email, drag it, drop it, and then compose an email message notifying a user that the report is blank, typically a system admin. Say, if this report comes back blank, you actually want it to execute an alternative schedule. We'll just do a custom task, execute schedule, and then pick the schedule that you want to execute instead. So, the blank reports option has a lot of variety of different uses that you can use as a way of determining and keeping avoiding a bit of embarrassment <laughs> if your reports come out blank to your users. Perfect. Well, that's it for exception handling. Thank you very much for joining.